Yeah, I guess I'm gonna start. Anyways, this is more of like a response slash clarification and way of giving back story to this whole situation so then we can actually like talk about this whole thing better. Let's start. Hello, you absolute legends. On the 18th of January 2020, the speedrunner Cosmic set a new world record for Super Mario Bros. with a time of 4 minutes, 55 seconds and 646 milliseconds. This was a monstrous run, perfectly executing every strategy and finishing off the run with one of the fastest endings ever seen. With one this fast world excel, record by was the a way. pretty big deal Only when one. it was achieved. Cosmic had been grinding the game for over eight years, and while he already had a long history of breaking tell. historic milestones, this most recent record seemed to be at the very edge of what was on. attainable by human players. Super Mario Bros. is so ridiculously optimized by this point that the only way you are going to save further time is by introducing strategies that for many years have been considered simply out of the question. Cosmic run, run, as is tradition with new Super Mario records, amassed a but ton the, of attention. Uh, the video sits at over 2 million views on YouTube, and very few games in the speedrunning realm could ever compete with Mario in terms of overall mass appeal. Super Mario Bros. resides in the very upper echelon <laughs> of games where the world Thank records you. are universally cherished whenever they happen. So it may surprise you to learn that on the 23rd of October, the Brazilian speedrunner Lokuki stunned okay. everyone when he tied Cosmic's record. This was truly shocking, as only a week before, his personal best was still a full three seconds behind. I don't think anyone I'm was expecting it to happen this soon, and if it did, you would assume it would be one of the existing oh, top players who had been grinding hard. Lukuki seemingly came out of nowhere and achieved this incredible feat after only several days of trying. However, weeks later, Lukuki's record still wasn't showing on the ranks. Yep. Despite the fact that there was no clear evidence of cheating, uh, that was my dad, the only bro. evidence the run ever happened remained the video itself and a post on our speed run. Yeah. In any other circumstance, a run like this would essentially be accepted and verified almost immediately. But this is no ordinary circumstance, and Lukuki is no ordinary speedrunner. The context in which this record was achieved is nothing short of bizarre, and no one has any clear idea about what should be done. The problem is not only the strange way in which the time was achieved, but also the history of the runner himself. In order to know the best way to proceed, there are a couple of very important questions that need to be answered. I'm going to try to present the entire story in an unbiased way, and I want you to come to your own conclusion and let me know in the comments how you think this situation should be handled. Let's begin. Okay, before he begins, I will begin with my explanation of how my times went from a freaking 458 to a freaking 455.646 in like, in the span of one to two weeks. <laughs> so, let's start from the whole beginning. So, I'm going to talk, uh, like, I'm going to date back to the days where I, I cheated in Mortal Kart DS and shit. So, basically, me back in the day... For some reason that I still don't know why, had the brilliant idea of tasking runs and then passing them off as freaking what, what is the name of it? Like actual records and then that and then I was like, oh yo, that that's kinda pog and and I I just wish I knew how shit that decision was. I just wish that I knew like how bad and how ridiculous of a decision that was back in the day. And then, like, I think November and October and November of 2019, people started getting suspicious about my Mario Kart stuff, and I couldn't do anything because, like, it was literally, like, cheated and shit. Like, it, w it was all tasked. So, what happened is, I had to pretty much admit, pretty much admit about it. So then, like, I could just save people's time with that whole situation. Like, if I, I wish I had just realized how bad of a thing that would have been. Because I literally, like, made the moderators in the community, like, lose time of their lives updating shit just because I had cheated my runs. Like, they literally had to go through the pain of, like, readjusting the whole leaderboards, readjusting the whole point system thingy that they had in the website. Just because I, like you know, cheated and shit, so they had to remove my times and readjust the standards. I wish I had thought about that before I started cheating for no reason, but I guess me back then was really dumb and I didn't think about it. 
So yeah, I admit to cheating. I go into like a freaking period period of like thinking to myself why I did do that and why I will not do that ever again. I'm just going to try to move on with my life and see what happens. And one thing that Carl talks about in this video is the fact that I didn't change my name and thus it made it a little easier to like you know know that I was a, I had a previous pad, pass of cheating and I did that on purpose like if I was to hide myself that wouldn't help it at all like I thought a lot about that like if I was to hide myself yeah I didn't try to hide anything I actually told about I actually told people about that kind of like mid 2019 and the mods only got to know about that when my 2J run happened, so yeah, that kind of sucks. But, the actual, like, part of the community already knew about my ch cheating situation leading to back to mid-2019, I think. So, yeah, it wasn't really new. People already knew about it. People were actually joking shit. Like, we were having fun with the jokes about that. Like, oh, look, Yuki is the splicer guy. Like, oh, his runs are cheated and shit. Like, we, we were having, like, um, really healthy jokes about that. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really, like, I don't think anything bad happened after any of that. Um, my nickname was really similar. It was just, like, it's Kuki instead of, like, Kuki, but... Yeah, I made sure I wouldn't change it in a way where people couldn't track me because, like, I would prefer people to track me because, first of all, that was such a dumb situation. Like, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like, I just moved on and learned my lesson. Like, I thought for one and a half entire months to myself why I did it and why I would never do it again. I had to learn it the hard way because it was really dumb back in the day. So, yeah, I... It just sucks that I had to do that back in the day. I, I I just wish I hadn't done that, but I can't do anything about it. I can't go back in time. If I could go back in time, I would definitely tell myself to not do it. I don't know. I, I could have I could have like helped the whole Mario Kart community way more with stuff if I hadn't done that. I could I don't even know, dude. I, I don't even know if I would be here today. Uh, it sucks in many ways. It's it, it, I I'm I feel really bad about it all. Like it, nothing really good came out of it. So yeah. After my little break on everything, I had the idea of going like for another game, like speedrunning other games, and thus I saw that no one in Brazil had a sub five in SMB one. So I had the idea of actually going for it, and I I I was like, dude, I can actually do this kind of quickly. Like it's not even that bad of a goal to to have. And then I tried to go for it like as a first PV. I had grinded like for I think three months kind of because like I started practicing in December and I only I think I only got the actual run like that got sub five quote unquote sub five I'm gonna get to that later I think it was in March or February I don't know I don't really remember but yeah I got that PB back then um and then what happened is that the mods didn't accept my run because it was I used it like a an unknown emulator for like it, it, people didn't know if it was accurate or not like back in the day I didn't have an actual console or I didn't I didn't even have a PC and if yeah I think I didn't have a PC back then like all my PC was just broken so I couldn't even like emulate anything all I had was a PS2 and like the like the option of home brewing my own PS2 and I was like dude I can actually like practice SMB1 through the PS2 emulator and it's unfortunate that the frame rate in that emulator is slower I don't know if it's the actual emulator itself that's slower or if it's just like the console clock that makes it run slower like yeah, I don't exactly know but yeah my first submitted run to the leaderboards like Carl Jobs had had talked about like like the 2J run that should have been a record on like what is it the, the pattern timing thing but it wasn't because of the frame rate I had another issue all like way before that on my PS2 and yeah that it, it wasn't a sub 5 because of that the frame rate was slower and then I was like yeah 
okay, I'm gonna just keep going and learn the game better. Maybe someday I can actually like get an actual console and stuff, so then I can actually like do higher level runs. And then I started improving my skill and stuff. I started helping people with um, learning the game. I started talking with more people with the community. I actually got better at English just because of the SMB community itself. Like before I joined the SMB community, all I could do was just like type in English, but I couldn't even speak it properly. But when I got to actually talk with people in the SMB1 community, I had the opportunity of actually like improving my English. And so I started, you know, getting involved in the whole thing. I got like, I started improving my skills and stuff. By the middle of like 2019, I was pretty much already able to pull off a 456. Just I didn't want to do it because of the all of that frame rate issue. And some stuff that happened back then made me not want to do that. Um, I think by the middle of the year, I already have like, I had already had a 457 that was, what was it? Like it was a 457.710. I don't exactly remember the dates of my PBs. I should have, I should look at them later. But yeah, by, by that point, I had like a 457.710 on NES timing. Which I think would have been like a a high 458, mid 458, I don't know, I don't remember the exact time. And then after that, I started going on like a really annoying like period of not liking BBG whatsoever. And I was like, dude, I'm going to start doing some runs without BBG to see what I can get. And then first, I went for 457 without BBG and I got like a 457 dot nine to six if i'm not mistaken i'm not i don't remember still bad frame rate so it wasn't really a 457 but i'm gonna be like saying the time is on that nas frame rate so then it's easier to understand what i was actually pulling off and then sometime later i tried to go for like low 457 without bbg and i actually got it like really quickly kind of because i had done like some like had streamed some sessions beforehand then there's was there was this one stream where I got it really quickly, and that 458 that was on the leaderboards is that actual like 457.327, because of the frame rate it made the time it, it made the time be way slower, so yeah that's why my time was a 458.5 when it was actually like um, worth of a low 457. Hey Tyler, welcome to the stream. So yeah. And by then, I had already been like wanting to go for 456, but I didn't want to go for it at the same time because of all that frame rate issue. And I felt like it wasn't worth it. But early 2020, I had been running the game on like a slower version of my, of the NES, because since it was a Brazilian like redistrib redistrib hard word um redistribution, like uh. There was a, there was like a company in Brazil that was like officially reselling NES in here. They were reselling the NES officially in here, and then like head distribution. Yeah, right. Thank you, Ellen. So basically, the Brazilian video standard by that time was Paul M. So like, what that means is that it's a different color system. It's actually like a, an exclusive color system to Brazil, and it just so happened that the people who were fabricating NESs in, in Brazil, they had to change this thing inside the console called, um, what is it? Oscillator Crystal, yeah. And like, they had to take off the NTSC Oscillator Crystal and put back in one Oscillator Crystal that was compatible with Paul M. And that happened to be slower than NTSC. So instead of the frame rate being 60, point zero nine eight eight one three nine it was actually like sixty point zero three two so I was still losing time over like American NESs and that's why my quote unquote record wasn't record in the two J like that the two J run wasn't really a record because of that. So um we only got to know about that like at the two J thing but before that I was just running the game and stuff and multiple things happened 
in that meantime that made me really the motivated i was trying to go for 456 but i just wouldn't get it at all and like i got an everdrive thank you so much dr mustache for giving me an everdrive because i didn't get it by myself he actually gave me gave it to me as an act of gratefulness because i had helped him with the game and stuff back in early 2019 and he pretty much had the idea of giving it to me uh, as an act of gratefulness and then he actually gave it to me and i started like practicing more since then i think it was like late 2019 if i'm not mistaken or early 2020 so yeah but i still wouldn't get like a 456 while being completely capable of pulling like a mid or low 456 just i wasn't that good back then but i, w I was still like a able to do it um how was the mkds stuff found a big difference in coming out of leader out of the leader and apologizing before even being caught and being caught continuing a lie etc so basically um as i said people in the some people in the community i had already told them about that like i had already told niski um jeremy mkw and some other people as well about how i had cheated in mario kart and i was like dude i shouldn't have done that and shit so basically um people really only got to know about all of that when the tj situation happened and uh, um yeah like it only made really public when that happened but some people actually like already knew about it Unfortunately, the mods didn't know about it back then, which I wish had happened, but I guess it did, and it kind of sucks. Also, let me use this. Is there a mod in the chat? Can I bend this spot? Come on, dude. Okay, I don't really care. I'm not going to pay attention to that. So let me go back to what Tyler said. Like, do you mean, like, by big difference in coming out a day later and apologizing before even being caught and being caught continuing? Like, like what do you mean about that? Like, do you mean me actually like apologizing and shit or like considering the possibility of me keeping lying and shit like i i want to know what you exactly mean by that question because i'm actually uh, curious to respond it um because i want to i want to respond it i want to respond to pretty much everything i can yeah uh, oh yeah, so in Mario Kart DS, um, there's a specific way of playing the game, and you can see that it's tasked if you look at how the, the character moves itself on the cart. So let's say I'm playing on an original console, the character is going to move in a specific way, but if I'm like playing on like keyboard or something, the character is going to move like differently, like it, he moves more... I don't know how to explain it, but he moves differently compared to what a normal, like, gameplay would be, so... They started being suspicious out of that. And then, people were like, dude, you, you're pulling off some suspicious things and you're not providing proof. And then it got to the point where I, could, I couldn't just, like, lie about anything, so I had to, like... Um... Admit to it. So, yeah. I... And then... I told people stuff, and then I had to leave the community, though. I'm not banned from there. Carl says that I have been banned from the community. I'm not exactly been banned. I was only like banned from the leaderboards, but not really banned from the community. The community itself like forgives me. Like they understand that I have changed and stuff. Like they they acknowledge that I have been trying to prove everything I've been doing the, in the like in the past few months and stuff. Like they, they, they forgive me, at least for the most part. I, I don't think there's a single person. If there is it's like one or two people in there, but like I can see why. And most of the people there forgive me. One of the players in question is in my chat. Like Galumba is one of the players. Um, where's that bot? Like Galumba is the one who told the mods actually about my whole situation, as far as I can remember. So yeah, and he forgives me. He knows I've been trying my best to like prove my my legitimacy and stuff. 95 so yeah basically i've been doing my best to prove it 
Because if you cheat, then a day later you see it, that was done, I shouldn't have done it. Or you get, that could be possibly fine. Yeah, that's exactly what it did, like... I don't even know, like, again, I don't even know why it cheated in the first place. I had no reasons. I had no reasons to cheat in the first place. If you ask me why it cheated it, I can't respond. I, 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 can't, I can't give you an actual answer, because there's no reason for me to have done it. And that's one of the things as well. There's this argument that people try to use of like, oh, I, I, we, they don't have a reason to cheat and shit. My situation is literally like, it, it refutes the argument. I had no reason to cheat whatsoever. I had, I was playing the game like perfectly. I was happy with everything. And out of nowhere, I, I was like, okay, yeah, let's cheat. You know, why not? Like that, that argument does not hold up that, like my situation, it, it, it refutes every single possible like situation of being like oh yeah, yeah people don't have reasons to cheat you know you shouldn't consider that and no that that's not how things work yeah pretty much I I just wish I hadn't done it it's so dumb but yeah and on the other end of the spectrum you could basically do what Bill and Mitchell Todd Rogers and Dream have done just digging yourself deeper yeah dude it's so dumb the way that Dream has been acting. Like, if I I I have this like, I'm almost a hundred percent sure he cheated. Like, there's this. I think that the chance that him not cheating that run is smaller than the trades he got in the run itself. <laughs> so, like, he he's just not helping himself. Like, he's not he's not helping himself at all. The way he's acting and shit, it's not. It doesn't help him. It doesn't help him. Plus, he didn't provide, like, enough proof for the mods to be like, okay, so we are suspicious about that, but he's trying to provide all proof he can. So, like, I don't think he cheated, even though the, the, the circumstances are really ridiculous. But, no, he, he didn't. Like, you know, the mods were like, oh, yeah, we, we asked him to provide the mod for during shit, and he said that he couldn't because, you know, he was deleting stuff, and he was updating it, and yeah. That kind of sucks. So, let me go back a little bit. Cause I'm trying to not lose myself into the conversation because I'm thinking about many things at once. Dude, I'm still like in the first two minutes of the video, so I still haven't gotten everything. I might even go over everything Coward Jobs say says before even rewatching the whole video, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. So I'm just trying to respond to everything. There's some stuff to talk about later too. Um. I think I responded to all of that, yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. I think I can keep going. How do I think, like, how do I feel about the video? The video is pretty good, like, it's pretty accurate. There are some things I want to clarify, but in general, like, I, that's exactly what I was wanting. Like, I wanted the situation to be brought up in the first place because, like, I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to talk about it so then people can 100% know what's been going on. And then people can be like, oh, sure, like, yeah, that that happened and shit. And I'm trying to prove people as much as I can that I've been not cheating, like, ever. Like, the, the last time I cheated was in the Mario Kart thing, so... I've been, like, I stood for an entire one and a half months thinking about it all, and I was like... I, I learned it about, like, I, I learned it the hard way. I don't think I really want to do this ever again. Especially because it was really dumb and I, have n and I had no reason to do it. So yeah, I moved on into SMB1 and shit. I think Alvaka was in a video because it wasn't in my chat and stuff. Um, Kuka, I cannot be nervous, but I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, there's that situation with Kavira Games that... I don't even want to talk about it. that shit's just fucking disgusting. I don't I don't even think I want to give that attention anymore. That the, that that guy just that situation is messed up as No, I don't think I want to talk about it. It's just shit. So, yeah. How long ago was the Mario Kart thing again? It was in mid to late 2018. Yeah, it was t mid to late 2018, when I started cheating and shit. I 
Like, I had no reason to cheat. I was actually good at the game. I just, I don't know where I had the brilliant decision of doing for no reason. It's, it hasn't helped at all, man. But I guess against a good bit of maturity out of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, indeed. A tree. He was, people got suspicious over him because, like, he literally can Compared to me, he actually came out of nowhere. Like, 100%. He came from being, like... Did I get any legit Mario Kart DS records? No. <laughs> no. Not even the Beta Tracks ones. And I don't think everyone knows that. Not even the Beta Tracks ones are legit. And, like, that makes me so sad. Because when I think about it, I'm like, bro. I literally got into Mario Kart speedrunning because of this guy named Mario Kart DS 1992. He was the sole reason for me to start doing Mario Kart stuff. And then, I'm literally like, oh yeah, let's choose some beta records where he like, he literally like goes there and he's like, oh yeah, let's beat some beta records. And then I literally cheat those. So, nah, MK Dasher, he didn't do as much. He didn't do them as much. Like, every time I think about it, I'm, I, I feel really sad. Because, like, I, I literally betrayed... The, the person who I, I, I would think that I betrayed the most in that community was Stefan himself. Like, MKDS19092. Because he was the reason for me to start doing it. And I literally, like, betrayed him. Like, and I know he doesn't, like, like my situation and shit. I don't even know if he forgives me or not. If he doesn't, he has all the reasons in the world. Like, that that was such a freaking dumb move for me. Uh, I I actually feel really bad for all of that. Like, I don't even know why I did that. But again, I I don't know why I did any of that. It just it doesn't. It it just doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, I have to talk about that too. Skipping to 455. So basically, I have been going for 456 for quite a bit. Like more than a year. Like in general. And by the point I had already gotten 456, I had more than already been able to get a 455. Like the same stream I got the 456, I got to bullet bill glitch and pace to 455 and I died to coin toss. So like... I had more than enough skill. I provided the mods, by the way. I provided the mods with all my videos over, like, me playing, like, stuff from 1-2, 4-2, or actually, like, doing attempts of 455 and stuff. I provided them all I had. I, I wish I had, like, all the VODs of all of my streams, but I didn't really, like... I didn't really think about all of that back then, which is unfortunate. I wish I had all the VODs to show them. Yeah, I had gotten, like, so many good, like, attempt stuff. So, basically, Simpson, in SMB1, there's this thing called tracking Bowser patterns to know your time. So, in SMB1, you can lose time by lag frames, and so, if you track the Bowser pattern, you can know, like, the exact time, like, without considering the lag frames. Like, for example, my 8-4 speed, I had pretty much known that um, what I did there would literally have matched Cosmic's, like, run. So, for example, I do, like, that wacky double fast excel that I think got, like, from 71 or 72. It wasn't even good. It, be like, it just saved my run to beat title record because, like, it was barely good enough to, like, be able to do it. Because my wall jump room was so a frame slower, and then my turnaround room was one frame faster, so it evened out. And then when I entered the water section, the frame will, I entered A4 in that like whole setup we do at the title screen and stuff after getting BBG and A3 FBG. There's this frame will called 742. It's literally the number of the frame will you arrive in A-4. If you get the, the, the same speed that Cosmic got in his record or slower to like a, to an extent, there's a specific fire bar in the water section that it goes to Mario, like, when Mario gets past the fire bar, it's a little more to the left, like, it, it's, it, it has progressed more. 
But if I win a frame faster or any frames faster than Cosmic, that fire bar would would have been delayed, and I would have been like, I get I would have to been doing like different movement to actually dodge it. So by that, I knew that I was at most tied to Cosmic. And then I entered the last room, and then the pattern is literally the same. Like it's a forwards pattern, and I knew it was not like two frames lower. Is it right? Like F E D like E F. Yeah, right. I knew it was not two frames lower because I knew my my A dash four was not slow enough to be two frames lower because two frames lower than that also gives me a a forwards pattern. And when I saw that forwards pattern, I was like, dude, I tied record. There's no way that's happening. And then like. That's why I react the instant I grabbed the axe, because I knew I had gotten it. So, yeah. Yeah, Poppables. Like, the, 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 the reason I'm doing this live is, like, that's the reason I'm doing this live. Because since I, like, know everything that has happened, I know what I've done in the game, I know everything about, like, not everything, but... I'm really knowledgeable about like SMB1 stuff. I myself have helped the community in so many ways, like reasons, like for example, like I talked before, this EverDrive, I think it's flipped because yeah, I'm using the front facing camera. So yeah, the, oh yeah, before I talk about this, let me go back to the Bowser pattern thing. The Bowser pattern, there's this website called sunwest.com and if you go to the little tab at the left side called SMB time, it's an actual like mushroom. You can track every single Bowser pattern in the game based off the delay you do and the lag frames you get. So let's say I get the same run as Cosmic. You can go there, you type like 455.646. It's gonna give you a range of frames and it's gonna go like in a range of frames and you can look to the pattern I got and it's exactly the same. And if I had gotten a lag frame, which I didn't because I did a different BBG setup, shout out to Nifsky because he came up with a an anti zero frame setup that also negates the zero f the the lag frame in a dash two after doing BBG. I didn't get a lag frame and I knew it because like the screen didn't like pause for a frame. Like it, it, it doesn't weird sound when it lag frames and stuff. So like you can go there and track my pattern and pretty much track everyone else's pattern in the whole like thing. So yeah. That's like the main way that people time runs in the game, assuming you have like an actual console that runs at the right speed or an actual like emulator that runs at the right speed. Thank you, Plyler, for the host, by the way. So, for example, my EverDrive and my current NES that I have here, I don't want to unplug it because it's going to be a little bit of like an annoying thing to do. But both of them, people gave me these out of gratefulness. So, Dr. Mustache, the reason he gave me his this EverDrive is because I helped him a lot with learning SMB1. I helped him with like overall like um, chewing him up in his streams. I had like a lot like I would I used to be in his streams for so long and stuff like I was pretty much like r friends with him like really friends with him and then pretty much um, like he gave me this EverDrive like at the time I had like the the little worse and yes like the Paul M one and then like I started using it and then after the 2G situation that we found that my old NES ran slower Jeremy MKW told me that he wanted to give me an actual NTSC NES and I was like dude there's no way this is happening like how are you giving me this dude you don't have to do this and he was like nope I'm giving it to you I want you to win the game and he gave it to me so yeah it, people like I've helped the community in so many ways. Like I have, I've helped people progress their game. I have, I have helped people with like knowing better about stuff. Like nowadays, people know about FPG, Blazed, and stuff pretty much because I researched over like um, the whole, the whole like um, mechanics over like like the whole mechanics behind FPG because like. Back in the day where Darby and started going for actual like sock folder, people didn't know how like Mario's movement um like what is the name of it again? Like we call it sub speed, but the right name for it is like movement force, yeah. People didn't know back then that manipulating Mario's movement force in specific ways could give like way better odds at getting FPG. Cause like with better sub speed manipulation you can literally 
like get bad inputs for the pull inputs and you still get FPG the same way. And if you get like horrible subspin manips, Mario's not even gonna go close. So yeah. Straight um yeah, um dude, I'm talking about everything. You can actually go back in the stream when it's done. I'm gonna post it on my YouTube. I've been talking like a lot. How long have I been talking actually? I don't know. Oh, uh, I can see actually. Oh, 38 minutes. Okay. I've been talking for a lot. Um, over. Um, stuff. Why didn't I show my cables? Because I'm dumb. That's why I didn't show. I should have shown. I, I thought I had shown the back of my NES properly. And I didn't. And like, showing the back of my TV would kind of be a problem. Because first of all, I didn't have like, I didn't have good lighting to like, um, show the back of my TV properly, and it's like a gigantic TV, so I can't just like get it and turn it the like back. So if I was to show the back, I would probably just fail at it or just like I could try, but for some reason I was like I'm not gonna show it, and it's bad because that doesn't help my situation. So yeah, that was kind of a dumb move, but now I'm gonna do all of that. And by the way. If you look at the video, there are cables plugged to the front of my DV, but that's like my N64, that's not my NES. My NES was at the back. Like, both the NES cables that go to the TV and the cables that come out of it to go to my capture card were back there. Um, so yeah, I w it was a dumb move for me to sh not show it, even though it was going to be kind of like a painful thing to do, but I should have tried at least, you know, like I didn't even try, I don't know, man. It was a dumb move. So, let me go back to the chat. Um, I don't think that Carl's video... Carl's video makes me look like the villain. I, I just, like... I don't know. It was a good video. It was a pretty good video. And I'm actually hopeful that... Actually... Like... Wait, let me go back to the literally forgot what I was saying. Um, Carl's video was good. I I'm actually help. Uh, I'm actually thankful that he did it, so I can talk about it and clarify things. But yeah. Um, Marcus Braven, are you doing it again? What exactly again? Like, do you mean like cheating again, or like making a video over stuff again? Um. Can you clarify that question, please? I want to answer everything if possible. The problem is that you would need a whole one hour video to know everything. Yeah, he did remain neutral on the whole video, which I'm actually thankful for because like it helps a lot with my situation. Like I can actually explain stuff without people being like, oh yeah, you definitely cheating and shit and stuff like that. Cause like I didn't and I'm trying to show how I didn't cheat. So yeah. Um, some of the people in the, sh the, the comments are like, oh yeah, he definitely cheated and shit, but I don't even think they really paid attention to stuff. That's why I'm making this. I'm probably gonna be like making a two hour stream over this. And I still haven't even watched like a quarter of the video yet. <laughs> and I've been talking for so long. And if, if Coral Jobs wants to make a video of me like talking about it later, here's content for him. He can use this freely to do it. No, I have never studied in the U.S. So basically, I have always had like some type of, you know, I had always been good at learning English. Even like, it dates from the days that I only had like basic English on my schools. And like, I think in 2014, 2015, I started actually like taking an English course. But at the end of 2018, like pretty much when I started running Mario... I couldn't like afford to pay the course itself so like I had the idea of actually like talking to people that are actually native to start improving my stuff because I, I had already like been able to um, speak not speak but type English and I already knew the basics so all I had to do was to just improve it so I, I have never even like gotten out of my like state where I live I, I live in Rio de Janeiro I have never even left the state at all all it has been, all it has been is that um, I just 
talk to people a lot and I improved my English over like two years so yeah thank you for that I I and I still have a lot of room to improve <laughs> I mean I wish stuff in here was like more like towards actually you know teaching English better but unfortunately it isn't some people are good but their accents are not that great but you can easily understand it I had I, I took the approach of actually like making everything better and I think I am doing a good job of that and I still have like lots of room to improve yeah Carl did a really good job at the video I I, I'm actually surprised that he even did the video in the first place. I was not expecting that to be a thing, but I'm happy that it is so then I can talk about it. So, yeah. Why am I reading the chat here? I had the chat on my screen, bro. I'm dumb. <laughs> if you post a run and the mouse think there's a 50% it's legit, that's not good enough. In my situation, that is true. It's not good enough. I, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. If they reject my run, I'm going to be fine with it because stuff don't really help me. At the same time that I tried to show stuff, like I show my setup and everything, but I didn't show the back of my TV. And I have already explained stuff of like the reasons of why I didn't do it. Still was dumb. I should have tried better and didn't help me that much that I didn't. Though, the mods themselves have given me an actual like list of things to show after I get another PD so like I'm actually gonna try to meet those things so nothing bad happens after that and we can all be good people can be sure that I'm not up to anything shady so yeah I'm, I'm trying my best I'm trying my best I, I have trust me I have learned my mistakes I hate that I did them in the first place and I'm trying my best to um, get people's um, like trust back most of the people in the community already um, are like inclined to like agreeing with how I'm like legit and stuff some others are not some people from outside of it probably are not gonna be because they don't really like they're not inside the whole thing like the whole situation so yeah kind of reasonable how they don't really agree with that but I'm trying my best yeah, it, it's all of that situation of going through Venice fight, flight trap plants and g jumping through the freaking Dragon's Hammers Facebook stuff. Eh, people don't really know about that. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, Plocky. Welcome to the stream. So, yeah. um, should I talk more about it or should should I just keep watching the video? I, I think I'm gonna keep watching the video. I can clarify more things later, okay? I wanna watch more of the video again. Let's go back to the actual thing. So then we can actually have more stuff. Wait, wait, 2J, 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 actually, no, 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 no. 2J, 2J, 2J. Oh, yeah, that from Simpson. Okay, thank you for pointing that out. Carl's video, he said he submitted a world record run as a first category in SMB2. I assume you have must done other runs before record. Yes! And you must understand how suspicious it looks as a first run, so why would you not prove So thing is, in the first place, let me give some backstory on how I even got to speedrun 2J and why I stopped speedrunning it in, uh, like after all of that. So I think like both Takate some yeah, Takate Sumwas and and uh, yeah, Takate Sumwas, Scrimgeon and S Cosmic they were all speedrunning the game, and I felt like, well, why not learn it as well? Like, people were, like, trying to, like, um, what is it, like, the, they were trying to, like, incentive people to actually learn the game, so I was like, yeah, why not? Like, that's the exact reason that why me, Scrimgeon, JS Carbo, and some uh, some other people started running 2J. And, like, I had the, the ideas of actually coming up with new strategies and stuff, so then I could help people out with, like, lower times and stuff like I came up with a strategy in 1-2 where it's slower than the normal strap but it can still save the normal frame rule and it was really easy to pull off and I came up with another strategy where um 
Like, I, like, it makes 5-1 really easy as a level. Like, even Niski has that in his BB, and I think, like, Takatsu is going for that in his runs as well. Um, and pretty much, I had a learning, I had been learning the game for, like, five weeks, four weeks, I don't know, beforehand. And then I actually started doing runs. And then everyone was like, yo, you're really good at SMB1, and I can see how you can, like, get sub- a as a first BB and stuff, so I'm looking forward for that. Like Takate, Samus, um, Cosmic, all of them said stuff like that. Like they were chewing me up and stuff. So I was like, well, I'm gonna start doing run and stuff. And I took around 320 runs to actually get that one run that quote unquote got record, but it didn't because of frame rate issues. So beforehand, I had gotten some runs to world 8 and stuff and I was really good at the devil spell while going for safer strats at the rest of the game and I had this mindset that if I had lost framewolves in the, the whole run I would still keep going to I would skew like I would still keep going because I knew I could still like sub 8 in the same like run because I, I had like a lot of time like to spare with the sub 8 and then like I had one run that I got to a dash two filled the, the the I think it filled the either feel like the the what is the name of it? the vine climb or it filled in a dash one and like died to something dumb I I think it had two runs to one like one run to a dash one and then one run to a dash two and then some attempts before I got a run to a dash three. And I died at the very end of the level. I literally like, like jumped too early from the elevator, like that elevator where you stand at the left one, you rise the second one, and then you jump off. I had stood in the elevator, not enough, so I fell on the, on the pit, and then I lost the run. So and then some like a good bit of runs later, I got that 756.4142. That would have been if I had. The good frame rate on my console, so yeah. And then let me clarify this: I had a past off, like my, my my past off doing runs in that category was wasn't that big, but I was still like grinding a lot at it. And I had already like acquired a lot of skill from SMB1, and SMB2 Jig is pretty much the same thing, except enemy bopping physics are different. Bowser patterns are like more annoying as far as I can tell there's like an extra Bowser like people like to call it Bruce in the last level and in the last level of the last level of the game there's like in the extra world and uh, I think that's it for the differences oh yeah the, the level layouts are obviously different because it's supposed to be a sequel I'm gonna go into your question in a bit I already like explained it but I'm gonna try to explain it again just to make sure and then, it just so happened that I managed to get everything that was going for perfectly in that run. And I still tried to make sure that I, like, finished it with a really safe 8-4. And when I got that, I was like, like, out of 5 shoe, I was like, dude, this is literally ahead of the record. Like, I was ahead of Takate. Like, back in the time, that was the record. Actually, no, 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 never mind. Takate had the second place. Cosmic was the record, and I think it was either tied or ahead of them. I, I think it was ahead of both. Yeah, I am Brazilian. I, I am Brazilian. I am Brazilian. So, I went for a safer A4. I, like, I knew I was ahead of the record by quite a bit, and I still went for a safer A4, and it just so happened to still beat the record. And when I ended the run, I was like, there's no way this is record. I don't even know if this is a, still like a 756. And because like I had only gotten to A4 once, like I didn't have like a, I didn't really understand the timing of stuff in there because I had only gotten there once, and I was like really freaking like astonished by what I had done. So I didn't really understand what I had just accomplished. So like we took a little bit to time the run because we kept failing at finding the Bowser pattern, and I couldn't believe that I got record until they actually found the pattern. And I was like, dude, bro. 
in a way that's amazing but in another way people are gonna put that run in so much such scrutiny that i don't even think it was worth getting that record and to be honest i did i wish i didn't have I, like i just wish i hadn't gotten that record in the first place it happened i can't change anything in the past okay i'm gonna respond to your question in a bit simpson let me just re um respond that like set up question about the tv thing so basically what happened is i literally failed to show the back of my nes i don't know why i was just really dumb i should have just showed the back of it and being like okay i i can show the back of the nes but the back of the tv is going to be kind of really 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 hard to show because the tv is gigantic so i can just like turn it back and, and like not have stuff to fall on the ground and break shit and yeah i should have tried at least but i unfortunately didn't plus i like back in the day actually no that's like the that's gonna be one thing not the smb juju so never mind so yeah that's why i didn't show the back of tv it was a dumb move i should have at least tried but i didn't so I'm gonna complete that thing by responding to Simpson's question. What changes does what changes did the SMB one mods recommend for my streaming setup to make it easier to verify my future runs? So basically, I've been doing this where like I show everything. Like most of the things I already do. There's like three things. Better I'm not even sure. I would actually want to know because if so I'd be like, okay, that's actually kinda bad and I should have done that. I just wished it. Yeah, I know dude, I haven't I, dude, I just re like I watched that video and I realized, dude, why did I do that bro? Like I I didn't even remember I did it. Trust me, I didn't even know I did it. It's so dumb, like it's so dumb. I, I didn't even remember I did that. It's actually freaking dumb I did it. I can't ch go back in the, ch in the time and change shit, unfortunately. I wish I could, so then I could, sh like, even show my freaking wall if I had to, but I didn't. And I can't go back in time. So, yeah, the only things that change is pretty much, um, like, they asked me to show both the capture card and the game running at the same time. So the thing can be sure like everything is synced up and it's actually like running real time. I have a little problem of showing that because my setup is kind of bad. I cannot put my capture card on my computer because it kind of sucks. Like mainly like the main reason I stopped doing that capture card setup because is because like my my computer was shit. The quality was shit even though it was quote unquote better which I completely disagree with because the frame rate was shit. The, the bit rate was crap. So, like, I had the idea of changing to this setup that I use nowadays with, like, stuff. And actually improved it to be able to show the console at the same time. And put the light bulb that is literally pointing to my face right now on my hand so then the mods can actually see it properly. Because that was the one issue they had with my setup. I, I actually figured that out, thankfully, so I can actually do it. So, basically showing that and power cables. That's pretty much all the changes, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm gonna try my hardest to show that next PB I get. Okay, so yeah, I did. They did give me a list to show. Yeah, you can. You could. You could, in theory, like play back a video, but I. I personally think that it would be way harder to fake a run like that than actually like go into the effort to actually learning the game and speed running it. Trust me. And I do not have editing skills whatsoever. I'm horrible at video editing, so like that would not have worked. And I have no one to contact to like actually ask for that. I don't know anyone that can do that type of shit. And even if they did, I don't think they could do it a hundred percent in a way where it wouldn't be caught. It's like it's I don't even think it's like practical to even do that in the first place oh yeah another reason i just get, got rid of my vhs thing the only reason i used it was to make my easy cap to not glitch out i'm not even using it anymore i don't want to use it i want to keep everything away from my console that like raises suspicion about me playing back shit like there 
I, I just want to get rid of everything and just have my console here. So then all I can, like, all I have to show is just the console, the TV and shit. All the mods need. And then I don't have to raise suspicion for anything though. So yeah, that's why. I respond to that question. Have you considered legal lawsuit? Why? I'm not, I'm not that guy who has a, I'm not even going to mention him. I, no, no. My point is not to shit on people. My point is to prove my legitimacy and bring up this point and explain why I'm illegit. I have no reason to shit on people. I have no reason to be like, oh yeah, like people are trolling me. People are being dumb and shit. Go, go hate and No. Exactly the opposite of what I want. And by the way, I've been trying to avoid as much drama as possible regarding this whole like run verification situation we got so close to actually have an actual drama about like my run not being verified and trees runs being verified and i had to intervene on that and i thankfully was able to avoid it so if there's no drama happening today you can thank me and some other people for like not like not letting that happen okay my that's definitely not my objective my objective is to just get better at the game play the game prove that I'm not cheating, help people with stuff, and then move on with my life, and then everyone is going to be good, people are going to be able to speed on the game, and no drama is going to happen, okay, that's all my goals, They're, those are all my goals, I don't have anything like malicious under this, I had no reason to do any of that, <laughs> thank you, OE Rambo, I've been doing low for 55 attempts, by the way, Yesterday, I got a run with perfect fast excel in the setup, and it literally died to my controller being dumb when I went to do pull inputs. And I have had like five or six runs to A-1, and only two of them got fast excel. So yeah, we have been gotten, we have been getting really good progress. So tune into my streams if you want to see more of Lou for 55 attempts, because I'm going for it. I'm going for it. More people are also going for it. I want them to get it before. I do. My hands are not big, by the way. You're just like skinny as heck. My runs are not even that big. But yeah, pretty much. Colongo Dragon, I am Brazilian. Yes. I don't know if you re I responded to you before, but yeah, I am Brazilian. Yeah, I already talked about how my 450 was an actual low 457 because of frame rate stuff. Changes on the thing. Um... Yeah, in a way it's great, but like it's dumb that it even exists. So, uh, I would prefer to not have cheated it at all and just like have a good progression and everything, not having to worry any of this because this has been messing with my mental like health a little bit. Thankfully, I have good mindsets and stuff about it. I I'm not the type of guy to get depressive over stuff. Thanks God for that. But it has been messing with my mental like health for a bit but I've been able to like handle it pretty well like I've been I've been trying my best to not have any issues with this whole stuff so uh, is there any way she I mean yeah I responded that I don't think there's a like a, a feasible way of cheating without showing the actual wires even though like I did sh didn't show them but if I was to cheat with playing back a video it would not work out at all Cause like if I was to cheat like that, people ha would have already found it out. There's no way I would be able to cover it up 100%. Especially since I'm streaming, reacting to chat and shit. There's no way in this world. I myself can think of a way of that. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, eyeball spins a lot. He's known for that. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't, I wish I didn't get, like, I wish, I, I, I myself didn't wish I had gotten, like, clout out of this at all. I, I wish I could just stay in the chat and be, like, with seven people in the chat talking peacefully and just playing the game. But I guess it's happening in the worst way, I guess. I don't, I wish people got to know me in a better way, but I can't do much about that. Put some more music on top before you for a while. <laughs> Take away this this N64. Yeah, I will tell you. I will show everything you can. 
I will try as hard as I can. If I if I stay one hour showing my setup, I will. Not exactly just a frame rate, but just like running back a task bot. But I showed my controller part. I showed myself going to second quest and shit. I'm gonna do a full two, full room two, full room. Okay, I'm cooler jagger now. Just kidding. Don't don't clip that. Don't clip that. I'm just joking. I'm not cooler jagger. I'm not making shame of his stuff. Pai, por favor, tem como baixar o som um pouquinho? So yeah. The video did not show the end of the two EV cables, unfortunately. I wish it did. Um, the run still has been into verification. It's probably gonna get done soon. Because now they have gotten like through all of the all of the queue and they all they have now is just my run to verify so they can like dedicate full time to it. Yeah, it would be dude. You be the stupidest fucking shit to, to 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 cheat after people help me with stuff. If that was to happen, I wouldn't even have accepted this ever drive from Doctor Mustache. I'd be like, okay, no, Doc, don't give me. I cheated shit. But like, you know, if if people gave me shit, I don't think my freaking like, I I, I don't think I would be able to like handle it and just be quiet about it. I don't think I would. I don't think I would. Plus, I have been contributing, contributing to the community in general, so like, that would be so fucking dumb, dude. I, I don't even like to think about that, that would be fucking disgusting. I don't, I don't like to think about that possibility of like... <sighs> that, that, is, that would be really messed up, bro. I really hope no one ever does that type of thing, to be honest, cause that would be fucking shit. That, if a person ever does that, dude... I think they're getting cancelled <laughs> with good reasons because that would be messed up bro that, that would be really messed up people spending money to help them and then they freaking they freaking they freaking like betray them not cool not cool bro morally wrong yeah not even just morally wrong I don't even know if there's a way of like classifying how bad that would be. Could my hardware be faulty? And in what means? Like how? No, 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 no. Jeremy MKW gave me an actual um, NTSC NES out of gratefulness because he wanted to see me improve stuff, like in general. So thanks to him, so like, yeah, my NES currently, uh, the one I have right now, it runs at proper speeds, so yeah. Um, so yeah. Pai, o, a, pai, a panela tá começando a chiar. Yeah, you can see the control for the whole stream. Hard to think that possible, but not doable, and if it was done, it wouldn't have worked out. Would not, would not. I don't. I don't think there's a possible way of doing it, especially on the layout I used. Like I tried to come up with the most cheat-proof layout I could. Uh, like you know, why not? I I don't have anything to hide, so I'm you know I'm gonna be trying as as much as I can to shoot to show to show shit. And if the, the frame rate is bad, the game is constantly running at a base frame rate. It doesn't run on tick based system. Like it's not like Geometry Dash where if you change the frame rate, the game runs at the same speed. If you overclock the console or if you underclock it, the speed is gonna vary. Okay, it's it's completely different. Different technologies and shit. My dad is I don't even know what he's watching. Yeah, pretty much. Timing every input would be pretty much like impossible. Editing those things in would be even harder. Actually, no, it's the opposite. But yeah, you get the point. It would not be doable. Hi, Miniland. I'm I'm catching back in the chat. Didn't you say it had been going for register before? Yeah, that is true. I provided the mods with videos of that, like just to make sure they they are aware of all of that. 
I asked I asked some of the verifiers for help with that. I provided all I had. I wish I had all the VODs of all my streams, but back then I didn't think this all of this was gonna happen, unfortunately. But now I'm doing it for everything I do, even for other games. I show my setup for even Marble Madness runs. I, I just want to make sure everyone knows that I'm not cheating at anything. Because since I have a pass of cheating, I feel like it's a it's an obligation to be transparent over my stuff, you know. Yeah, I I I, I was already able to pull off a 455, and I was already going for it. Like there was a bit where I was like, dude. I want to skip 456. Like, why just going for 456 when I can get 455? And then people were like, dude, people are gonna get sus of you and it's not gonna help your situation, so at least get 456 first. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. I got it, and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm gonna go for 455, and I actually ended up getting it way earlier than I actually had anticipated. And I wish I hadn't gotten it so quickly, but I can't. I'm not gonna throw runs for no reason, you know. I don't think I don't think that's something I, I should do. Also, Streamlabs, please help me. Okay, let me go up a little bit. Yeah, indeed. I'm not the type of person to be like, oh yeah, dude, people are giving me free shit and I'm gonna, like, cheat behind their back. My parents teach me really well about those things. I don't know the word for it. Actually, let me go into Google Translator and try to translate, translate that because I don't know the word. You know, like, my English isn't perfect. I'm gonna try to see that word. <clears throat> no until snow. Yeah, I have been doing 456 for so freaking long. So yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. After all the 2J stuff happened, I was so demotivated I didn't even want to play it. I'm gonna go back into 2J though. I will go back. I'm gonna try to get a 755 and then a 754. I'm not gonna focus that much because I'm, I'm gonna be foc focusing more on like SMB1 454. And I'm gonna be learning like SMB3, Warpless, and then after I'm gonna be learning like Ninja Gaiden, and if possible, after all of that, I'm gonna be learning Gimmick. Because those are the games I wanna learn. Yeah. I had already had the, the school for do that. Plus, I'm already like known for, be, for being good at A4L stuff. So it's reasonable that I went for double fast excel in the run to get record, even though it wasn't good, but it was enough to tie at least, which was my minimal goal, at least tie cosmic, and I got it. I mean, yeah, that is true straight and 98 baller. You know, I wish I hadn't cheated. Like, I wish I hadn't cheated in the Mario Kart stuff, so then I wouldn't even be going through this whole situation. That's why I say that. I just wish I hadn't done it. That would be saving me so much time. Okay, let me translate the thing. Was it just character? Wait, no. Yeah, it's character. So, there's this thing called character. I think it's the right way of saying it. I don't know if Google Translator is right about this. My parents teach really well, teach me really well about like being a characterful person person is that how you say it like i wouldn't be able to just be like cheating shit and having people to pay actual money and giving me stuff for me to actually improve while cheating because first of all if i was cheating beforehand i would probably have gotten like caught most definitely so yeah i i learned my mistakes from like the mario kart stuff and i don't think i'm ever gonna do that again and i don't think i will i hope i don't because if i do if I do that shit again, I'm just like, you can cancel me, please cancel me, I myself won't like myself. I won't like my, I would not forgive myself if I did something like that again. You can cancel me as much as you want, you can make shame of me, you can joke at me, I will deserve it. I'm gonna make my best to prove my legitimacy. I do not care about anything. I will prove as much as I can my legitimacy and I will not do anything bad. 
And if I do, you have all the right in the world to fuck me, to fuck me over, because I will deserve more than everything. Because I have been given one chance, one extra chance, and I'm making sure that I will use this chance to actually gain back my, my reputation. So if I fail to do it, you have all the rights to fuck me over. You keep that in mind. So I'm determined to actually like prove that I'm not cheating and shit. Simpson, so like I just said, I was really demotivated after all of that 2J stuff because I knew I had done it legit. But both my console being slower and the whole situation made me really, 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 really um, demotivated. So I just didn't want to touch that game at all for a good bit. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna go for 755 after I'm, I get this. Like I'm gonna get low and then I'm, I'm low for 55 and then I'm gonna go for 755. And then I'm going to be interchanging between 454 and 754. Just like Niski is doing pretty much. It's comparable to what? Yeah, I had multiple runs of me getting actually really far into 455 attempts. Yeah, one of the reasons I actually did some of those attempts was like, I wanted to just like have a friendly like competition with Alden to bop him like how far we could get with all the tricks in the run. I am 17, Kalengo. Oh my god, I'm so behind in chat, Jesus Christ. I have to go faster. No, I'm really okay with the video. The video is really, really, really good. And I'm thankful that Carl made that video so then we can talk about the whole situation and clarify everything I'm here to just like clear some things but in general that video is beautiful yeah I talked about the cable stuff already like three times I guess if you guys want to see it I'm gonna have a video in my YouTube where you can just scroll through the whole VOD bro I don't wanna I don't wanna get exposure from this bro <laughs> I don't want to, trust me. Oh yeah, by the way, Mario Kart people have been popping off lately. They have been growing as a community. Props to them, they have been making some tournaments and stuff. I just wish my NDS wasn't that broken so then I, like... I think they would accept me there again if I just wanted to do it for fun. Because they have forgiven me and everything. Let me actually show real quick how my NDS is right now. Okay, so literally, I don't know if my my NDS well, my NDS has battery still, but if you look at this, the top screen has a vignette effect where it's just oh no, it's dying and the battery is kind of dead. The bottom screen is broken, the D-pad is kind of broken, and pretty much everything is worn down. So even if I just wanted to do it for fun, I, I don't think I would even do it because like. I have to fix this. I have to fix this boy at some point, bro. It's literally the freaking like that that version where they were like, oh yeah, it's a 25 year anniversary thing. I had. I wish I didn't like destroy the freaking box as a child because me as a child, I like to destroy things. <laughs> I, I I like to destroy things a little bit too much. Nah. I wish I knew about like how being like a collector of those things would actually matter, but. I didn't have the maturity for that type of thing. It wouldn't exactly be too hard of a task. It would just be annoying and I probably wouldn't even be able to show it properly. I should have tried, but I didn't, which sucks. Like, it would be definitely annoying as hell to turn my TV and just, like, not have anything to break in the ground or just fall. That is definitely... Um, Diamond Crafter A, I don't know if he's gonna make a follow-up video for this live stream because I'm gonna put this on YouTube and if he wants to Kind of Niski, kind of 
they were suspicious and they were almost sure and then I just admitted and stuff. It's it's halfway there. It's halfway. You can actually ask them if you want to know exactly. Uh, if he wants to make a follow-up video, which I hope he does, so then it would help like this whole situation in general. He is gonna do it, I think. I think it's relevant enough at this point. I don't know. They didn't exactly found out because I owned up to it. I only owned up to it because I figured that I wouldn't really get anywhere and just like some people were actually like doubtful about like some people were actually think that I was thinking that I was not cheating. I was like, dude, I can't anymore. Like just let's just admit it to it. Half of the people were like certain, half of the people were not. So I was like, okay, it's better for me to just come up right now, say that I did it, and then we're gonna end this whole issue. So like, half of it was people knowing it and half of the people were not knowing it. So it's kind of like a mix of those things. At Sir Tyler, what's the name of that YouTuber that's friends with Carl Jobs and speedruns Golden Eyes or Seven again? Double Seven, I, 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 yeah. I think it's, I had to remember him. I can't watch his videos, I just don't remember his name, bro. Oh my God, that's so annoying. Um, I forgot his name, that's not cool, dude. Okay, um, Golden Eye. 007 uh, videos. I, I gotta search and tag the guys. No, no, speed run. Core jobs, core jobs, core jobs. Or just core jobs. I went to see the other guy, dude. I, I wanted to remember his name, bro. Where is he? Forgot his name. Maybe it's in the chat and not looking. Where is it? Where, where's the chat? No, I didn't want to. Why Goose? Why Goose? Thank you so much, Beast Worm. Yeah, exactly. I didn't want to open paint on that. Yeah, it's it, Why Goose. Our White Goose cheated some of his runs like some years ago. I don't remember when. Yeah, thank you, Nate. 2007. And then I don't know exactly. I don't remember exactly the context after all of that, but he has been forgiven and he still plays the game, I think. Like, he is an actual, like, like, um,. He's a key person in the community, so like, I can see why people would have the mindset of not giving other people a second chance, but have have our white goose as an example, you know, of people who owned up for it and realized their mistakes and and made sure that they wouldn't do it again. He's a great example, and I and I'm trying my best to be another example of that type of thing. Oh yeah, there. I don't know. It's just a habit to point at people. I don't know, bro. I, I'm just pointing because why not? I just I don't know, man. Yeah, it's the red NDS I X L and Knuckles Game and Watch. <laughs> I've watched that meme video. It's funny. Mary pointing to the back, okay, how am I supposed to do that? I'm gonna show everything, okay, making sure, I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna grab my light thingy, real here, I'm gonna point it back to my TV, I'm gonna grab my cell phone, I'm gonna point it back there, and I'm gonna see for an entire hour if I need to, I'm gonna do it, I, I don't care. <laughs> what? Am I? Did, did we actually found someone in this world that looks like me? There's no way, man. Yeah, it is definitely an unlucky chain of events. Unfortunately, I wish that any of that didn't happen, but can't do much. <laughs> what people commented that? Bro, oh my god, they, they, they definitely only watched that freaking career games video. Fucking hell, bro. Oh my god. I don't care, bro. I'm, a, I'm not the type of person to get hurt by YouTube comments of people not, not knowing the whole situation. I'm not that type of person. Trust me, I'm way more positive than I look like sometimes. I am really behind in chat. 
watching the video. I will start watching the video. Oh yeah, I finally got to the end of the chat. Let's go. Yes, I can actually find it. Pure xenophobia. I don't see it as xenophobia exactly. It could be considered, but I would think that person is more like, yeah, some Brazilian people have cheated in the past. Probably, uh, yeah. It, it's kind of bad that he said that, but it's not the worst thing in the world. It's, it's kind of messed up, I'm going to be honest, but... Do I care? We Rambo, I'm here to clarify everything, okay? Let's finally go back to the video. Let's go, man. Oh. Now, before we go on, we are only a couple of weeks away from 2021, and a New Year's resolution I want everyone to have is to learn a new skill. And what better place to learn than Skillshare? Skillshare is an epic online community. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him talk because of classes where you can learn pretty much anything you can think of. Whether you want to tackle something completely new or take your existing talents to the next level, Skillshare has. I was not paid for the ad, by the way. My <laughs> resolution is to improve the editing in my videos, so I'll be going through Skillshare courses to learn new techniques. <laughs> I'm going to start with the course Creative Video Storytelling and Editing by Nikki Stevens, as I really want to focus on creating more emotion in the way I tell stories. Skillshare Premium is extremely affordable at less than $10 a month, and you can even grab a free trial by being one of the first 1,000 left. <laughs> click the link. What is wrong, bro? <laughs> by the way, I might use Skillshare at some point at Curl Jobs if you're seeing this. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do, but I'm definitely gonna look into it because it, it seems like something I should do. I tied record. What? I tied record. I tied record. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So basically, like I said before. Oh, it's Carl Jobs! Oh my God, he's in my chat. There's no way. Oh my God, that's Spock Champ. That's Spock Champ. Let's go. Let's go. The legend himself. Oh my God, <laughs> that's Spock Champ. Let's go, dude. Okay, so yeah, he knows it. He knows. He knows. So back to what I was saying before. Bowser patterns. Me knowing. Me knowing the pace. I've been having like experience with. A4L, I could tell stuff, so yeah. Let's go back to the video. 23rd of October, the speedrunner at Lukuki tied the record for the fastest completion of Super Mario Brothers. It was an incredible run, as was Cosmic's run of the same time achieved earlier in the year. This world record tie appeared to come out of nowhere, and Lukuki's oh, yeah, no previous timer, personal yeah. best was I'm gonna relatively about the far shit away from the top players, sitting at 4 minutes, 56 seconds, and 878 milliseconds. Technically, it's just over a second slower, which doesn't seem to be a massive amount of time, but it put him at 21st place, mm -hmm. and bridging that extra second to join the exclusive group of top players is extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. Lukuki did have some experience with the game, though, competing in the much less popular Super Mario Bros. category extensions. These are random challenges that speedrunners compete hey, for fun, like trying to beat the last level as quickly as possible, or collecting 500 coins. By the way, I'm gonna keep improving the A4L time. There's some frames to save. It's not possible to tie the task, unfortunately, because if it was, I don't even know if people would go for it. But uh, yeah, there's like a limit that we we have established. So, me and Niski are. Shut up, Niski! You're not getting a B4L slot. You bet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. For dude, A4 is an actual like. The A4 is an actual category that's a big deal for our community because like. It improves the summer best. It's a good way of like improving your skills and shit. And like it's 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 just really cool. By the way, I'm the one who revived the category because I figured out a way of saving a of saving a frame in the second room and the in the last room. Actually, no. Oh wait, no. No, Kriller no. figured the 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 last room. I figured out the second room and third room. Yeah, that's exactly what happened again. So me and Kriller, we revived the category by doing those things. We discovered some really specific ways of saving frames over this thing. Yeah. These fun categories aren't as heavily contested, but they do provide players with a oh, novel look at way that, dude. The task has so fucking and beautiful, the Jesus Christ. Holds the joint record of completing oh my god. <laughs> floor, he obviously has some skill. But it doesn't really matter how much skill you have. If you want to compete for the any percent no use record, to eat you're going to have to grind the game for many hours. Every single one of the best players has put in thousands of attempts to get where they are. 
Lekuki's progression is not typical at all. In fact, it is extremely atypical. Before he starts talking about this, I'm not an exception to the rule, okay? I've grinded a lot. I've learned a lot. I've helped people a lot. I have like, most definitely at least 20k attempts? Yeah, I think? If not 70k, like, it, it's around 15 to 20k attempts, most definitely more than 20k. I don't track them because I don't use splits, and I'm gonna talk about why I don't use splits later, but yeah. I'm not an exception Enough to, to raise the rule. concerns over its legitimacy. Speedrunning communities revolve heavily around trust, and new records are always met with skepticism when they are achieved mm -hmm. by lesser known players. Lekuki certainly did not have a history of top level play, and had in no way, shape, or form developed the community's trust as a top player. This is the one bit of the video where I find that Carl didn't really, like, get it right. Um, because. Most of the community already had known me, and people have been knowing, have been knowing how I've been trying to do stuff, how I've been trying to like, you know, I just said it like, imp like improving myself as a player, helping people to improve. You know, like I just I already explained stuff. So yeah, that that's the one part where I, where I think that Carl kind of missed something in the video, but like it's fine. I'm here to clarify things, so it's fine. It's not a bad thing. His previous record submissions only included two runs, a 458 achieved over a year ago, and the 456 achieved a week before his new record. Um, the first actual 458 that I talked about, the frame rate stuff, I, you know, I submitted it. It's actually on my rejected thing, I'm gonna show it later. And then, like, it doesn't show there, but yeah, I submitted that 458. Actually, I think I, no, had I? I don't think I did. I don't remember. I think I didn't submit my 710 because I thought that the mods wouldn't accept it anyways. Because at that point, I still haven't like proven that the emulator was accurate enough. But by the time I had a 458, yeah, it wasn't a bad frame rate. By the time I had the low 457, that's a 458.5, I had already proven that the frame rate was like um, 59.85 FPS, which is a little better than WDC. But it's still one of the worst frame rates you could run on. So yeah. And I had proven how accurate the emulator was. Like, it was just a branch of one of older versions of FCEU. FCEU, not even FCUX. FCUX came after FCEU MM, I think. This wait a second, wait a second. Oh, pai. Tu vai mexer na, no fogo ainda? Fogo? Yeah. Por Porque tá cheando ainda. Não sei se tem que mexer. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna verify it. Most probably they're gonna just freeze the run. Like, not reject, like, the, for the 2G thing, they didn't exactly reject it. They just froze the state of the run because they don't exactly know what to do. But, I would say they're probably gonna freeze this run too. Which I kind of find dumb in a way because I did show most of my setup. Didn't show the back of TV, which is dumb. But I don't know, I'm doing this to clear, clarify things. I'm gonna keep going for records still if they don't run from around, it's fine. They have reasons to do it if they reject reject it, so yeah, it's not a big deal. At least not for me. It's to runs being heavily scrutinized, and this world record is no exception. Lukuki's run has a lot going for it though, and the proof he did provide is above and beyond what is normally considered acceptable. His hands are visible throughout the entire run, and afterwards, oh, he shows the controller cord plugged into the console, even going as far as entering the second quest and executing a few jumps, establishing that he does have control over Mario. Try as they may, no one has been able to establish any evidence of foul play, and yet... The no one ever will, by the way. No one ever will. <laughs> the run has still not been verified. As I alluded to before, there is much more to this story, and there is a reason that Lukuki has such a high level of proof for this time. It is a requirement for him specifically. This isn't the first time Lukuki has come out of nowhere. Miraculously, these people, I, that's why I don't care about them, because they don't know shit. ...to achieve an insanely difficult world record. It has happened before, and it wasn't very long ago, happening in May of this year. CJ. Bowser, it's up to you, man. <laughs> to you. People meme about this a lot. The it's up to you thing. 
No way! No freaking dude! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This reaction was strange because it was like, what the fuck did it just do, dude? Since when? How? Like, I, it didn't even pop off that hard because I was so surprised. Like, it, it. And at the time, I was like, dude, I don't deserve this. Like, come on. People have been going for records so much more longer than I have. I didn't even go for it, in the, in it by the way. I, not, not that I have been, I had been going for it. I didn't go for it. It just so happened to do it. Pretty much Tensatsu. Pretty much. So, yeah. On the 4th of May 2020, Lukuki claimed a new world record in Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Not a really time of 7 minutes, way, 56 seconds, and 515 milliseconds. Mm. The crazy it, thing about this based. run is that it was his very first ever submitted for the game. He even claimed himself that this was the first time he had ever uh -huh. completed a single speedrun for The Lost Levels. I had it, yeah, that is true. I hadn't completed a full run of Lost Levels. But I had been doing several attempts beforehand, and since I already had skill with SMB1 in general, I could just like, you know, pull off a sub A as a first BB if I wanted, which was my goal. But it was literally unexpected, and I myself didn't believe that I got record until people actually like came up with the pattern for Bowser, saying that I actually got got had gotten record for four frames or something. I don't know. I, I was really I've been a not wanting to get record. Twenty but, yeah. years, and I can't remember a single instance of this ever happening in a heavily contested game. This claim is so bizarre <sighs> that the other members of the community <laughs> had no choice but to be immediately. Definitely a joke, comment by the way. That is definitely a joke, comment. Brazil is the best country that we don't have, unfortunately. If you come to Brazil just to visit it, it's fine. But don't come to live, please. Don't come to live. It, it's not worth it. I don't think skeptical. it is. Not right now. Again, Especially there was no right direct now. evidence of cheating, but ultimately the run was rejected and would never be seen on the ranks. The moderation team of the Lost Levels provided a lengthy and detailed document outlining all of the factors that were considered when making their decision. One of the biggest oddities was the fact that the console used runs slightly slower than what should be expected. If you want more info into this, into this, I actually made a one hour and nine minute video without stopping at all, talking about every single point that they made in the document back when they were actually like, that whole 2G thing was happening. So you, if you want to dig into that video, you can look at it. I literally like, talked about everything, just like, actually like reassured some things and they didn't know and yeah. If you want to watch that video, I really recommend it because it's actually important for this whole situation thing. Super Mario Brothers is timed in part by using the Bowser pattern to determine how many frames have passed, and using this metric, the run was world record pace, but mm -hmm. in real time, it was actually half a second slower. 60.032 FPS compared to 60.03, no, 60.0988139, or just 139, if you want to be more simple. But yeah, that little bit of frame rate changes stuff. I had already explained it. I explained it on my... 2J response video to the actual document, and there's like a thread. There's a there's a thread in the speedrunning like 2J thing I think, where I like talk about stuff. I explain some supposedly inconsistency inconsistencies when they weren't really consistencies. They were just normal things that the mods overlooked. So yeah. It wouldn't be considered a world record due to this discrepancy, yeah. but one of the most important factors was Lukuki's history outside of speedrunning Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. In 2018, he claimed multiple world records in Mario Kart DS, which were later exposed as cheated runs. He essentially created tool-assisted speedruns and tried to pass them off as legitimate speedruns. The movement, dry bonus movement is whack. Instead of him moving the head like left to right all the time, he's like locked into position that means i was pressing left plus right or some shit wish i was the, 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 this is one of the reasons people started being sus of my runs because they were pretty As much tasked he was banned from the mario kart ds community banned just for their leaderboards i don't even think it's a permanent ban i, I should ask people about that as i said they forgave me and stuff i i think you're fine with me going back in the game which i want anytime soon maybe someday if i want to do something just for fun I won't take it seriously though. Um, what else was I gonna say? I don't. 
I forgot. It just so happens that speedrunning is such oh, a yeah. I literally help people with my testing shit, bro. Like, I, I should have just like, oh yeah, guys, this is a test that I made. So, like, you just take this as a strat showcase and shit. Instead of being like, oh yeah, I got the record. Oh, hey, I'm so good. Dumb myself. I wish I could slap myself in the face back then. If I could go back in time and slap myself in the face really hard, I wish I could do it. Yeah. Huge niche that is possible for a player to be banned in one game and then quietly move on to another without that new community having any idea about that player's past, which is exactly what happened here. <laughs> the Super Mario Brothers community no. had no idea that Cookie was banned from competing in another game. Kind of, I already explained that earlier in the stream because, like, I had already told some people about it, but the mods only got to know when did 2J shit happen, so yeah. No, I tried to pass it as genuine. I don't know why I did that. No reason to. I was not frustrated with the game. I was having lots of fun with the game. Lots of fun with the community. I wouldn't be surprised if I was diagnosed with some type of freaking mental illness after that. I'm gonna be honest. And it only came it's so to light after he claimed the world record. I'm not, so I'm not, the question. I'm not mentally ill by any means, by the way. I'm just joking in the way, but like, it's dumb to that extent, I would say. What should communities do about players? Not that having mental illness is dumb. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that me doing that wouldn't be more like, I, I think it would be more believable with me saying that I had mental illness than if I just did it for no reason. Which is what happened, unfortunately. I do regret it really hard, dude. Court I do regret in a completely it really hard. Different community. Should there be an outright ban from every game on the first instance of fake runs? If that is the case, it would be pretty difficult for one game to keep track of what's happening in every other game. It may even be impossible. In this particular case, Lukuki kept his name the same, so it was much easier. On but purpose. in theory, a player could simply change their handle and sneak into a different community unnoticed. I don't want... To like I said before, it was on purpose that I kept my name basically the same. Because if people figured that out, I was like, yeah, it's not a big deal. Like, I just tell them and, and everything, and that's fine. Like, it's the opposite of what Omni Gamer did. Like, it's it doesn't even matter that he cheated on freaking, like, what is his name of it again? Like, Toho, whatever that was. He cheated by pausing, buffering, shit. And then nowadays he deletes comments of people pointing that out. Instead of being open about it, like it's not even a big deal, bro. That happened so long ago. Like just be open about it. It's gonna help you way more. That's what I've been doing. It, it doesn't matter that much. If you op you're f if you're if you're open up about it, people are gonna be like, yo, he he he's actually like, you no, know, he's opening up about it. He's he's putting his face. To shame, in um, he's he's being like you know, uh, I forgot the names, the the, the words like he's being. He, he he doesn't fear anything, you know, like something like that. My English, I, as I said, my English is not perfect. Some of my vocabulary is missing, but you get the idea. To name names it, it's here. not a big deal. Just say that I should have back in the game. I, I regret it. Like there's no reason game, and then simply to, to just hide it. Community. Some of them even becoming very highly ranked in their new game. And thus what far, there know? appears to be no universally accepted rule about what to do in those situations. I have never found a community that explicitly outlines what to do in this situation in their community guidelines. Yeah, sure. To summarize, after the oh. cookie was banned from Mario Kart, he almost immediately moved on to Super Mario Brothers and started submitting runs there. He then claimed the world record- Almost immediately as in like, Three, four months, to be more precise. But it's not exactly immediate. But yeah. Scored for the lost levels on his very first ever speed run, leading to completed a very speed run, not first ever attempt. God fucking damn it! That would be not good if I did that. First of all, that wouldn't even happen. That's just impossible. Like, no. Even the best fucking player in the world would not be able to pull that off. 
yeah, the Bowser pattern is the same if I was timing it with like actual proper frame rate. But since the old NES I had in this 2J run was a Paul M NES that ran on a Brazilian color system that's exclusive exclusive to our country, the the actual timing was like you know the actual timing was slower than what it actually should be. Because as I said, games used to be tied to the frame rate instead of just like tied to tick rate just like at, like um just like geometry dash and minecraft are so like if you overclock or underclock the console it's just gonna change the speed and it's gonna be blatant that something is different which was my case because the 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 oscillator crystal inside of my paul m nes no it's fine carl it's fine like my old nes uh, not my old, the, the one I had, the one I used to use that is Paul M. It has, uh, oscillator crystal that makes, like, that, that runs at a slower rate, like, barely even slower, that makes the console run, like, at 60.032. So the Bowser pattern is still line up because the game is still running at the same, like, like, the game, as far as it is concerned, it's running at a perfect speed. But IRL timing, the speed is different. Because the game is like tied to frame rate and not to a tick rate based on clocks, like Geometry Dash and Minecraft are. So yeah. The involved investigation resulting in his time. I don't think that would ejected. ever happen. So the moderation team think. then placed very stringent requirements on further proof, insisting that a hand can be used, as well as showing the console and controller attached. Doing it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna keep doing it for every game I play. Keep that in mind. But after these new rules were put in place, Lukuki never touched the game again. I explained why I did and the motivation in general because of I discovered how the console was lower. I literally wait I literally wasted like freaking four hundred and thirty bucks in Brazilian money to buy that NES. Because our economy is freaking inflated as heck. Instead of course costing like less than sixty bucks, since like I think back in the day I think the dollar was like Four and a half units or something, so that's a thing. Unfortunately, thankfully Jeremy gave me one of his NESs for free. So yeah. What game require? Um, pretty much SMB one and SMB two J. And to be honest, since I'm already doing it, why not doing it for every single game? Like you know, I want to be transparent, so let's just do it for everything. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> These people are clueless, Jesus Christ. And he still doesn't even have a single run submitted on the rankings. Which, in my opinion, is strange for someone who is capable of achieving the world record on their very first completed run. Yeah, like I said, the motivation in general. I'm gonna go back to 2J after I get low 455. Yes. I'm gonna get 755, and then I'm gonna try both 454 and 754, okay? That's my plan. Those are my plans. When did all of this happen? May of this year. Everything about Lukuki's claimed records are strange, mm -hmm. but alas, there is no direct evidence of cheating. On top of this, all of the circumstantial evidence doesn't lean in his favor. And there was one critical moment after his most recent Super Mario Bros. World Record that really stood out to me, as well as the other moderators. The, the thing that I didn't show the cable well, for kid, because I'm dumb. You have at least tried. And the pad to start the game in the triple core. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know if people know that. I saw that one, by the way, that, the last one. Oh, yeah, um, the cable is going to the TV? Bro. How do you show the cable is going to the TV? I don't think it can. That's going to be too hard of a task. But yeah. Bro, the point, way he said that. Jesus. Oh. I'm so mad at myself, bro. I'm so mad at my- It's literally like, oh yeah guys, I'm not gonna show it because it's probably shady, you know? Bro, it's so bad! I didn't realize I did that, bro. I watched that video and was like, dude, did I really do that? Ah, oh, uh, It sucks. I think you're not, you can't really- so Krilla37, who's one of the Super Mario Brothers moderators, told the crew- Four fires kind of moderators. He verifies runs more than anything. I don't think he's like an actual moderator unless if he actually got promoted, I'm not sure. 
I, I should have looked at that later. He just showed the cables know. running from the Nintendo to the TV. Lukuki tries for about two seconds before covering up the camera and claiming that it would be too difficult. This seems incredibly suspicious. Imagine you have just tied one of the most popular and respected world records in all of speedrunning. The moderator of that game asks you to do something that seems pretty simple, but you refuse. This is after you've already had another world record rejected due to past cheating. If I were in that position, I would be jumping through whatever hoops were put in front of me in order to remove all doubt that my record was legitimate. At the end of the day though, this is all circumstantial. I honestly don't know if there was any foul play involved, and until hard evidence is revealed, no one does. The moderators still haven't made any public statements regarding the record, which was set almost two months ago. We might be in a situation where the record is permanently trapped in limbo, with no obvious way to escape. Either way, it seems as though Lukuki was never fated to hold the world record for long. With the moderators and the speedrunning community fixated on this ongoing investigation, another player was quietly working on his attempts. And on the 13th of November, 2020, <laughs> this Big happened. Fluke from Tazu 2, what a legend. <laughs> By the way, whoever thinks that keyboard is cheating, you suck. <laughs> you suck, bro. Bro, dude, it's not even that big of a difference, dude. Oh my god, like... Me, as an 8-4L player, who relies on perfection of input to the atom, I can say that keyboard does not give you a single advantage. The only advantage that it gives, it's just like... Like... It's like preference, like just holding a keyboard can be more like, um, comfortable, but you can like work around that. You can like, for example, you can buy like a case for the, the controller or you can just like use a similar grip, grip that I use. Like I try to optimize my grip as much as I could to make my hands not hurt. Like that is not a valid excuse. Plus the, the bit, why do I look so evil? <laughs> Because I'm kind of mad at people who think that emulator is cheating, especially using keyboard. That's just dumb. But like, the the bit of like um, more accuracy on inputs, that is just like, the, it's the same situation as controllers. If you have a worse keyboard or a worse controller, you worse keyboard or worse controller, you're still gonna have bad hardware. If you had better controllers with better parts inside it, or better keyboards with better like um accuracy and stuff you're gonna be better with like inputs in general it's like it's like it evens out it evens out it's not a valid excuse anyways so yeah plus there's some things that are harder to do on keyboard getting the a4 r a4l record is way harder on keyboard niski can can attest to that he can attest to that doing the little falling fast excel movement is harder on keyboard and that is a big disadvantage just because of how the nature of like using a keyboard is. Because you cannot press left post right at all. And like you're like at some point you're accidentally gonna press it, so it's just gonna drop an input in, in the middle of, of everything. So it's actually an a disadvantage, if anything. So yeah, there's no reason. Unless if you're playing Marble Madness, then that is something to talk about, but I don't think of any other game where that would be like an actual advantage. In this case, you just kind of low, but it's there. It's no fine. Way. I was there. I was there for the day he got record. Thick boy. Bowser, please! Holy cow! <laughs> And I ask people in the YouTube comments, how does he know? Like, like yeah, how does he know the timer instantly, you know? Like, how? Oh, you know how? How does he know the timer instantly, you know? That argument uh, is only towards me? You really you kidding me? God. I'm only talking about the dumb people in the comments, by the way. Not just, like, everyone. Like, definitely not everyone is doing that. But, bro, it's the exact same thing. <laughs> Okay, it's fine, Kong. If you if you own by your mistake, and if you 
are actually up to learn, it's fine. If you're up to learn stuff, I, I am fine with you. <laughs> he was cheating with the keyboard, dude. He was cheating with the keyboard. Also, Aniski, one guy keyboard that doesn't do two framers while going for one to G, so then you win even better. <laughs> oh, holy cow, dude! I did it! I did it! I did it! World record! World record! For the record, Carl Jobs, Niski, yesterday, I think? Yeah, I know your keyboard is amazing, but like, two framer issues. Yesterday, Niski literally got 454.928, if I'm not mistaken, from 4-2, the beginning of 4-2. How is this guy so good? <laughs> Some of people are not supposed to trust me. The existing world record with a new time of four minutes, fifty-five seconds, and four hundred and thirty milliseconds. Funny how he splits perfectly. It's beautiful. This beat the record that Cosmic had set by over zero point two seconds, which in the world of Super Mario is gigantic. Mm -hmm. Now I do want to address the elephant in the room. Why is he playing on a keyboard? Well, for Super Mario Brothers, emulation is an accepted and viable way to I play the game. <laughs> there is no discernible difference in the way the game plays between original hardware and emulation, so you are free to use whichever version you like. I know that many people will value the speedrun less if it isn't on the original console, but consider this. The Nintendo Entertainment System stopped being produced 25 years ago. As consoles and cartridges degrade, break, and are thrown away, the availability and reliability of such consoles is greatly reduced. This that is, is a sure problem point. that is only going to get much worse. So restricting competition to only original consoles creates a huge barrier that is that very short-sighted. In the event that emulation differs from original hardware, leaderboards can be split, which is what they did for Super Mario 64. But in this case, Super Mario Brothers really does play the same through an emulator as it does on console, so it's reasonable to lump them together. That being said, playing on original hardware is still the preferred method, and it's the choice that most speedrunners use, and it's what I personally favor they as are. well. If you are familiar with Super Mario Bros. speedrunning, you will have heard the term frame rule before. So imagine a bus. A frame rule <laughs> is the set amount of time that each level checks to see if you have reached the end before sending you to the next. In this case, each frame rule is 0.35 seconds, meaning that you can only gain or lose time in increments of that size. The exception to this is the final level, because timing stops on the exact frame that Mario connects with the hammer. And that's why A4L even exists as a category, because, you know, it's a big deal to optimize it as much as you can. Saving a new frame rule is a massive deal, as it's essentially the only days, way a player days. can save significant time. Usually, it involves introducing a much more difficult strategy, and in the case of Nifsky's new record, it was 8-2 that allowed for a quicker frame rule. It really doesn't look like much, but the different technique used to jump over this pipe was the crucial change. Land. The difficulty of this jump is extremely deceiving. It requires multiple frame-perfect and pixel-perfect jumps. On top of this, in order to save enough time, because these new jumps alone aren't enough, you need to execute an even more precise bullet bill glitch at the end of the stage. One frame window bullet bill glitch, by the way. Which is in a way good, because if you mess it up, you know, like, you mess it up. It's not coin toss days. You just get it or you don't. Landing on the very uh, front of hard. the bullet bill, therefore completing the level on the earliest possible frame. Plus, you have to manipulate Mario's vertical sub-pixel position to actually clip through the um, bullet bill a little, like, in a, in a way you normally are not able to, so then you can actually save that frame. It's just because people had that, like, they, people were doing, like, you know, they, they put B at the, the start of every word and, like, just, they, they replace it with B instead of, like, Saving anything Saving this else. extra frame rule on 8-2. I say plant clear sometimes. Amazing. And it was actually Nivsky's first the ever actual, run like, thing. to do so. He just so happened to clutch the last two levels to finish it out. People are now wondering, are we close enough to 454 yes. for it to be a realistic target? More than ever. For a long time, 455 was seen as the last milestone that would ever be achieved. But now that the record is closer to 454 than 456, it's actually seeming pretty reasonable. There is another potential frame rule to be saved in 8-1. That's the one I'm going for extremely now. extremely difficult fast acceleration Almost got start, it in combined with that a flagpole glitch at the end. And if you pair this with an almost perfect final level, you can save just enough time to get below 455. 
Nitsky has performed a sufficiently fast run in practice, starting from 8-1 to result in a 4.54. All he and now to do for now is two. do it in an actual attempt. I predict that because this new barrier is as close as it is, we will see more players starting to put serious effort into making it a reality. In this video we covered a couple of very contentious issues. We looked at players cheating in one game and then moving straight on to another. We also highlighted the use of emulation for speedrunning. I am really curious to know what the general public thinks of this, so please put your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you've reached this far in the video, please do me a massive favor and follow me on Twitter. I am really trying to increase the reach I don't I have on I'm sorry, it would be greatly appreciated. The link will be in the pinned comment. As always, thank you so much for watching, you absolute legends. I hope you are having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. Boom. The video ended. Yay, we made through it. We made through it. Ah, oh, so yeah, most of the things I have talked about that were in this video. No, it didn't. It's still being verified. Mods are probably almost done with the whole thing. I don't know what you're gonna say about it. I would guess there's a big chance of them being like, oh yeah. So basically, stuff is suspicious, but we're not sure. Like, we don't have hard proof on his run. But we cannot be sure that it was not cheater either. So we just freeze the state of the run. That's my guess for what's gonna happen. If it gets verified, I'll be like, yeah. Better, because I showed my setup. Not entirely, unfortunately. But it did show it. So... Either, either one of those will make sense, I guess. Yeah. Really well made video, by the way. Ooh. Hog, Carl is wanting to accept it. That's, I mean, I know, yeah. But if it doesn't get accepted, I'm still going for record still, so. People know about it, it happened. If it doesn't get verified for like that reason, then people already know that I got it. It's just that the situation wasn't really good. But, you know, that's my PB. You can just change it. Let's see if I get a better one, and I'm going for that. I just wish that my freaking A button didn't malfunction for one frame. The one time I almost got pole impulse. I mean, not pole impulse, just jump to the pole to do plate one. But I guess I gotta do it again. Let me actually pull up the chat on my computer, so then it's easier for me to read because the chat is kind of being hidden. I will, Niski, trust me. I just want to ask them out some stuff about it because like to show the capture card and the game at the same time I will have to record from another place and they say they state that they want it to be all in one take so like would it be better for me to just show everything with that one cell phone or would it be better for me to like put the the other cell phone here while I show the setup and then when I have to show the cell phone to show the cell phone in the TV because you know to local record and stream, I use all my cell phone. I do not use my computer anymore. And it just happens to be like more efficient than actually using my computer in the first place. Because my old setup, it was mostly bad because my computer is crap. The method I was using to even make it work was crap. Like, I literally streamed it. So like, I had my camera pointing towards my TV, the console, and my hand cam. While I screen recorded the, the capture cards, uh, software that I use for my easy cap into my cell phone and then I use Streamlabs mobile to stream it to OBS on my computer and then I restreamed it to Twitch so then everything could be good like it cropped it properly put the chat in there and boom that's so that's what I used to do but it's a pretty neat setup but not efficient plus I can make TRT cam look better you know I wish Taven was able to do such thing back then but he was not something that people don't know about is that he used to have a capture card even before he got record but his Chromebook did not work with the GVUSB2 he had, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I know how to make it look good, so I am making it look good. Plus, I'm using a mirror to show everything, so it's kind of a neat setup still. And I am gonna make sure I show everything I have to show when I get a new PV. So yeah, that's. Oh yeah, back to people asking that. Um, as I said before, like. I was really dumb to not even try to show it. 
when I looked at the video that, like, th this video that Carl made, I was like, dude, did he really do that? I don't remember doing that. That's so dumb, dude. And, like, I should have at least tried to show it. Because what happens is I could have shown shown the back of the NES and still not shown the back of the TV because the, chi the TV is again it gigantic i didn't have like a good way of like putting light back there and actually pointing the, the camera to the tv even though i should have tried at least but <sighs> dumb me didn't do it so i guess i will have to do it now and i will do it that is for sure i'm gonna try to do everything i can to ensure it indeed me that is true a lack of transparency did make some people really mad about some stuff which is one of the points where i don't like you know, I don't like about this whole situation, like, lack of transparency, it was a big, bad point, we had to, like, uh, I'm not, I'm not even gonna talk about that, I don't think it should, but yeah, lack of transparency didn't help much, I'm gonna go back to SMB2J after I get low 455, so yeah, yeah, I, I did that, MC Clover, I'm doing that right now, so if you go to my Marble Madness PB, I actually use it. Because back in that day where I got 646, what was plugged at the front was my N64. I, I don't know why I didn't have the idea of actually plugging it at the front. Yeah, it is possible to connect it at the front. That my, my, my TV has the ports there. So yeah. I cannot, Sir Tyler. That that is not an actual feature. In the way I would do it, would not work. I would have to create two separate sources of the same camera, readjust the size, and it would still be horrible because it wouldn't work. the 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 size of the the mirror would be so small that wouldn't even work. So no, it's not doable with my setup, unfortunately. But if the mods really want to mess with that, they can just like revert the thing and then analyze the run, which I think they're doing. I would think that's like a good idea if they're not. Yeah, I have to get lunch, bro. I still haven't gotten lunch and it's 3.23, bro. 3.23 p.m. Yeah, like I said. It's, no, the one that Carl talks about is the SMB1 tied record that I got. So it is indeed a record. That's, say, it was a record. It was just tied. The 2J1, though, it would have been record if my console that I used back in the day was, you know, had proper frame rate. I mean, as far as skill goes and, or like NES timing, yes. But officially, no. And I'm not even going to argue about that because I agree with mods, the mods, like, with their decision. Yeah, retro gaming. I, I myself don't know how I would be able, like, to cheat with all that. I'm going to be honest. I, I, I actually would want to know. So then I would try to avoid anything that's related to it. This light is kind of hurting my, hurting my eyes a little bit. <sighs> Oi! Da. Okay, so basically, my dad is asking me to stop streaming and go have lunch because it's literally 3.25 p.m. And I should have already had lunch like way before. And I'm still going to have afternoon breakfast with something that parts of the world don't have. Like, normally I have that like by 7 p.m. or something. So yeah, I gotta have lunch now, guys. I think I pretty much, like, responded to every question I, I could have been asked that's, like, actually relevant. So yeah, let me see if I can read someone. Yeah, the thing is, Poppables, I have nothing to hide. I know I am legit. I did everything that I have been claiming that I've been doing. So, like, you know... Streaming is the best option. Like I can have live contact with everyone. I can be like as transparent as I can and shit. So like best thing I could have done is streaming myself. Many oh mini is streaming nice. Okay. So let me just you know flip the camera. 
I'm gonna. Yeah, dude. I I hope so, man. I hope so. I'm doing my best. I'm gonna read Mini Lane right now. Not read, just host because I can't read with Chatty. Unless if they update the app, which is something I don't think they will do anytime soon. My God, my face my face is gigantic on the thing. Bro, I have been talking for two hours. This is the double. Oh, I can read it, Chatty, but like it didn't work the last time. Thank you, Beast War. I'm gonna try again. Like it glitched out. I have been talking for the double the amount of my document video. That's impressive. Wow. Yeah, it is working, but like, does it automatically like do it? Like, do I have to tap any type anything else there? Because as far as I know, if I do that without being in the chat, it just glitches out. And it's not cool. Let me try to do it. Oh no, I accidentally cancelled it. Wait. See you, Niski. I redid the, the raid and now I can actually do it. See you guys next stream. I'm probably gonna stream low 455 today. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna keep going for record. I'm I'm more hyped than I have ever been. See you guys.